keep growing up and your image. You don't you you do want them to grow up in your image, but you don't want them to grow up to be exactly like you. You want them to grow up to have their own personality. Yeah. Just from experience, uh, there was uh, there was a period of time when I hated my parents. I mean, we got I think to some degree it's like I'm embarrassed by my parents. <laughs> my parents are embarrassing, right? I don't want you around, yes. right? But as I got older, what happened is we learned to appreciate our parents. And something eventually goes off at various stages in your life when you're like, dang, my mom was right. Or dang, my daddy was right. Or now you can be like, mom, I really appreciate all of the time that you kept me from or involved me in. And then sometimes we have people that say, I wish my parents would have set the boundaries. I wish my parents would have been more strict. But I'm out here wilding out now. Yes. I think this has to be like, you know, and I think it's not like that. My friends, it's like, and even some of my friends that have kids, you, like, I don't know, I feel like when they young, like when kids are young, the little stuff that they do that would, would be considered bad when they're older, when they do it they young, it's like, oh, it's so cute. Yeah. And then, like, once they get older and it's like out of control and you don't know what to do, it's too late. So, I think those boundaries and those rules just start done. And a lot of times, from what I see, it doesn't. And yeah. so, once your child starts going crazy, it's kind of too late to really think about it. I snapped on my daughter the other night. She's eight. I told her she's eight. But I told her to pick something up off the floor. I looked up and it was still on the floor. I was calling her name. She didn't be asleep. <laughs> I had to make a parent decision. Do I let her go to sleep? She's so innocent. Or do I wake up behind up and tell her to pick it up? I could have went and picked it up, right? Yeah. If it was that important to me, you pick it up. Get your behind up because you have to set it. You don't run this. Because if one, and then she'll be 18, curse me out, and I'll be, you know, don't, don't know what to do. No, because then, what? She'll never want to do that again. Who wants to be waking up? So, I, you're right. To some, yeah, you're absolutely right. So the question is, how do you influence others in your circles? Some of you may struggle with it. What are we, how do we approach or handle the social media? The reality is, it's going to follow you. The realities are, it's not, um, you can't delete it, right? Every now and again, I use bad, bad, bad language. You don't ever see it on Twitter. And it's not that I'm trying to be perfect or present an image that's perfect, but I do have a leadership role in various communities, and that needs to be protected. 